July 4th versus Juneteenth. What's the difference between these two holidays? There's actually no difference. The same government that you're up under that you hate and talk shit about, you worship their holidays. You buy their shit. You concentrate on their shit. You are valued by their shit. And of course, this is the same reason why generational curses repeat itself. Fuck race. Fuck a skin color. Worship yourself. And of course, if you believe in yourself, you'll be able to expand and go higher. Understand and understand. The government that you under, they gave you a name, which is Black, African, American, so beyond, way beyond. And of course, if you don't agree to the terms and conditions of being an African American, then of course you won't be able to be seek security and safety and comfortability in their world and their ideology. AKA, you gotta go by their shit, celebrate their holidays, do they do what they tell you to do, Act, actually participate in the shit that they told you to participate in. This is a circumstance and situation where they blindsided you and told you you had to do these things to basically receive the safety and some comfortability in your life. Deep down, you're just a slave. And of course, you're under their government. They form. And of course, they don't really care about no goddamn race. And then for the fact that y'all really think USA and China is at war with each other, these people are working with each other. Only people, places, and things that's being downsized is the people that's in the army because they're blindsided. They don't know what the fuck going on. This is the whole purpose of the population agenda. People that's worshiping, oh, July 4th, he he ha ha. These are the same people that was basically initiative into the army to basically go fight for war and fight for a country that they don't know shit about while the enemy stayed at home, watch you, get your ass killed, and of course die for something that, why? You had no business basically sticking your nose into. Don't stick your nose into shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Mind your business. Stay in your space. Stay in your location. Go on about them things. They make it, they made it seem like it's very cool for you to basically be in, into them circumstances, situations by holding the gun and marching for your country. All you're doing is just basically fighting for no cause, fighting for no reasons, no means, no meanings, and no true perspectives. This is a circumstance situation. This is how they get you up out of here quickly. Juneteenth is basically another per participation of slavery. You worshiping and celebrating slavery? <laughs> you do. You're still a slave. You're still a slave. You still work for a government. You still can go to that nine to five that you don't want to go through on a day to day basis. You still sad. You still depressed. You still angry. You still celebrating motherfucking failure. You need to get up off your ass. Value yourself, create your own holiday, and create your own fucking power. Then the real gods in the universe can be like, okay, cool. We we see a strong spirit. Then we can work with this spirit. But what you're doing, you're basically being monkey seeing, monkey doing by basically following somebody else's tradition, following somebody else's government, following somebody else's shit. And you're not basically valuing, basically truly worshiping yourself. You're worshiping shit outside of you, and you're getting possessed.